Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And if you are new here, welcome to Marisa's Moonlit Creations. So, we have a beautiful box today. I have been, this, this is one of the boxes I have been really excited about and waiting for. This is the Sacred Space Crate Box. I believe I got a subscription and I believe this should be for February. Um, because if you get it in January, you get the following month's um, box. So let's get started um, with this unboxing. I'm really, really excited. All right, guys, so let's open her up. And when you open her up, this is what it looks like. This is, okay, let me just push that up, the Sacred Clearing Box. And there's their logo right there, Sacred Space Crate, okay? And I believe their website is like sacredspace, you know, uh, crate.com or something like that. You can just Google it, um, or I'll put the um, link in the description, all right? So here's some paperwork um, here. They describe everything that's probably in the box. Don't wanna look at that yet, because I wanna be surprised. But I felt another piece of paper. So I'm just gonna put this to the side for now, okay? And the first thing I see is this beautiful calendar. Really, really nice all like the moon stuff, all the different, oh, ooh, look at that beautiful picture there. I love that. It's February love, but this is like self-love. That's how I'm looking at it. Let's see if there's anything on the back. This is my first time getting this box, by the way. Cool. So this is all like the moon in each um, sign. So that's very, very cool. Nice. Okay, so let's dig in. So I just kind of, the only thing I did was like open this up because I didn't want to rip the cute little sticker. All right. Cool. And I have my scissors handy. All right. So the first thing I see here is space clearing incense. There you go. Let's smell it. I'm a... I need to smell things all the time. All right, this is how they look like. Oh wow, that is pretty, pretty strong. I like that. I like that, it smells nice too. All right, so let's put that to the side. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move this box back so we have room. I will be right back so I don't knock over my camera. Okay, so the first thing I see here is a really, really nice smoke bundle. Obviously, this is the sacred clearing box, so we're going to be clearing our space. So that's really cool. Mm, that smells nice. We'll see what type. Because it doesn't smell like sage. It smells like something different. So maybe that's something different. So I am just going to move some of these thingies out of the way and we're going to dig in. All right. So the first thing here is what? Oh, cool. All right. So we have some shepherd's. Oh, I don't have this. Very cool. Shepherd's purse. This is herb. And... That's what it looks like. Very nice. I like that. I like these bottles, very cute. I like they're stackable. And you can um, uh, display them this way or this way, however you're like apothecary, or if you have one yet, it's very cute. And I like the size, very nice. I like that. Okay, what is next? Yeah, this is one of the boxes I was really, really excited about. Um, I've seen a lot of different channels um, like unbox it, so that's why I got it. Um, let's see, what do we have? Tea, yay, I love teas. Camo mint tea. And it just gives you the directions right there. 
and that is what it looks like really nice packaging I like I love these um, little packages because you can like seal them up tight and they don't take up too much room either and they count they're really it's really stuffed very cool yeah I have been watching the channels uh, Enchanted Moon and um, Luna Moth Creations so doing a lot of unboxings and I actually got something from Luna Moth Creations Etsy shop which I'm going to be doing a little Etsy haul very soon all right so I definitely need my scissors for this one and I like the fact that they package things well all right I don't I forget where this is coming from it's in the United States but oh cool very nice I do have a selenite this is selenite um, let's see if I can take this out of the packaging real quick my tonic studios very sharp scissors came in handy okay oh not handy enough all right okay <coughs> move that to the side oh nice yeah I've seen these before this is like a moon phase it's like etched into the selenite it's like a charging it looks more like a charging pad because uh, it's not like a wand I have a selenite wand and I do not have one like I do not have one of these I can't talk today sorry so it's really really nice I like that very cool all right so you can see that up there next to the T okay so far I'm really happy okay and then we have um, a salve so it's shepherd's purse very nice I like that okay and we'll go through the paperwork at the end as quickly as humanly possible so that's what it looks like it's a nice kind of like clear but it has like a tint of green in it let me smell oh doesn't really have much of a smell so actually let's just use some now because my hands look hella dry <laughs> I use my hands for everything so they're always in water cleaning something so you know I love I actually love using salves all right let's see what is next in here oh wow okay there's just plenty in here my goodness okay oh there's a big one all right so I'll save that one for last what is in here Ooh, cleansing bath ritual salts sage and santo so it's sage and palo santo let's see what it looks like because you can't see anything through this um, paper bag here let's see if you can see it oh cool so you see all the herbs in there and the sand or the sand the salt I can't talk today I like I just said oh that smells really nice wow I smell lavender too definitely smell the lavender that is so nice cool very happy so far all right let's see what to, oh okay we got a few more things here to come okay next let me get my trusty scissors again oh that was easy all right we have a rosemary energy cleansing spray nice I like that and that's what it says on the bottle let's see if you could see nice that's a nice size very I like the sizes of everything um, I'm really happy with that really really happy cool Oh, you get quite a bit in here then you have I like that that is so cute 
burn sage not bridges so I have a feeling this may be a candle yep so it's a one wick candle really really pretty I like that let me smell ah, it's nice and herby you know it smells like sage ah, it's nice and I'm actually burning, I'm sorry, I'm burning the incense. And it, 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 it's strong, but it's not overpowering. On the stick itself, it really smelled like strong, but it's not like, some, some incenses are just so like overpowering, like those cheap incense. That's very pretty, very nice. I'm just gonna keep that open for you guys to see. Okay. Let's move the noodle noodles out of the way. I think this is the last item in here. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, cool. And so this is like a piece of a selenite wand. So there's like another piece of selenite in here. Okay, so that's cool. Very nice. At uh, wow. Okay. This is I already see this is gorgeous. Let's just make sure there is nothing else in the box. Yep. Alright. Okay, let's put that away. Sorry. Wow. So I can already see this is a besom. In this big, gorgeous um little not little what am i saying little for bag here i love that okay let's open her up wow so this is like a it looks like a peacock feather oh wow okay hold on let me just take my scissor Cool. Sorry. Eep. All right. Get rid of that. Put it to the side. Wow. Look at that. That is so nice. And it has an amethyst on the top there. That my camera would focus. There you go. Wow, it has two more crystals here. That actually looks like selenite as well. Uh, it's so soft, actually. It's very, very soft, like the straw or whatever they use to make it. And this looks like the tree of life, which I love. Look how beautiful. That is lovely to clear your space. Well, they weren't kidding when they said we're clearing our space. Okay, so let me put that down right here so you can see. Very nice. I love it. All right. Wow. Very nice, complete um, kit. So we have all that. We got the. We got. Oh, I mean, let me just put this. Sorry, guys. Let's put that back over there. All right. So, does it say, okay, I'm just going to read this top part here, and then I'll just go through each thing um, a little bit, because um, I know this, this these types of videos can be very long. Anyway, we start February off with in bulk, the time of year that we are spring cleaning. Yep, yes we are. Not only are we physically cleaning, but we are clearing old energy as well. <laughs> yes, that's I'm definitely doing that. Clearing out the old to make room for the new. Clearing your space energetically can be so important to your well-being as cleaning it as cleaning it physically. Cleansing the air regularly can help improve the energetic flow in your space and help introduce more positive energy into your home and aura. I curated this box with the intention of giving you tools to use in your clearing slash cleansing rituals. How nice. That is perfect, like literally perfect for the new year. I mean, I do have 
a lot of the but actually I don't have everything so I do have a Bessem but this is really really nice <laughs> Um, it's like a, it's a real mini one and I use it to regularly clean my altar. All right, so I actually starts off with a handmade besom. This handmade besom is adorned with amethyst, amethyst crystal at the top, <coughs> sorry, at the handle. Amethyst is not only great for enhancing intuition and awakening your third eye, but also reduces negative energetic influence. Uh, the tree of life was added for its magical properties of harmony and balance and its representation of the element of earth. And the feathers represent air. Uh, they move energy as well as bring energy into your space. Ah, each besom is unique. I love that. And of course, it's, it's used to sweep away. Air. It can be used to be physically to physically clean, but also to, you know, energetically clean. All right. So then we have the selenite wand engraved with moon phases. Here again. I love that. I'm so happy I got one of these. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, so it's a charging wand. Uh, naturally cleanses, charges, reactivates, and amplifies crystals and gemstone jewelry when placed upon it. And um, it activates all the chakras, especially the crown chakra. And you can read the rest because it's going to be a real long video. All right. Then we have the Burn Sage Not Bridges Candle. So right here. Okay. So there's a hand poured uh, soy wax candle filled with dried white sage. Okay, so it's white sage leaves and a few drops of sage essential oil. And then um, they added a solenite stone to the lid. Ah, so maybe it fell off somewhere or maybe this is it maybe it just fell off because this is yeah maybe that's what it was maybe it fell off or something but that's fine it's okay it's all good this is kind of heavy okay so all right and this is the next is the uh, rosemary energy clearing spray right there and let's put it down like that uh, this is the energy clearing spray that I use on my on my altar to clean in between seasons. Um, and then it just says about, you know, ask with your doctor or pharmacist if rosemary is good for you to use. You know, always check if you have any allergies. Um, this is from Fresh Rosemary. And it was pure in purified water during the three days of the full moon. So here is that information. Whoops. And then we have the Shepherd's Purse herbs right there. And this is also known as Witch's Pouch. So I got a new herb. I am really excited about that. Uh, magical uses, Shepherd's Purse include healing, health, protection, and prosperity. And here's the rest of that. All right. Okay, then we have the bath salts, and this is a huge bag. Um, so this is for a ritual bath. Um, it has sage in it and powdered Palo Santo, rosemary, and lavender were added. Nice. So it's you know it's to, to cleanse our bodies as well, but like it, it it says take this time to cleanse all the energy away so that you can start over with a clean aura. So you know you just want to energetically cleanse and all that, and physically cleanse. Ah, then it's a eucalyptus stick. Cool. Yeah, it didn't smell like sage. I was like, what is this? Um, but I should know what eucalyptus smells like because I have a ton of it in the house. But it doesn't didn't smell like um, so strong, so good. That I have, that's also something I do not have as a stick of eucalyptus. Um, eucalyptus is a decongestant, decongestant and anti-inflammatory. It brings fresh energy that improves concentration, relieves mental exhaustion, and boosts health. And here you can read the rest of eucalyptus right there. And then of course we have the incense sticks which I am burning. Okay, and 
and yeah, with the creation, it was created with the intent of clearing energy from your sacred space. It's a green, woody fragrance with spicy notes of sage, rosemary, and cedarwood. Pine needle. Oh, I love that. No wonder I like it. Pine needle. I love all these cedar wood, pine needle fragrances, and Palo Santo wood. Very nice. And then we have the tea, the camel mint tea. So, you know, while you're cleaning your space, you can make yourself a really nice cup of tea and just kind of calm and clear, clear your body, clear your space. And let me just bring this down a little bit. There you go. That's a better view. All right. Yeah, then of course, you know, anytime you have any type of herbs, I said in my last video, or one of my last videos, you know, like any, just because it's like natural doesn't mean it's good for you. So just like make sure you don't have any allergies because it does give little disclaimers. Yeah. Does it say about the bomb? Ah, yes, the salve. Yep. So the shepherd's purse salve, where the heck did it go? Hey, there it is right here here again cool uh shepherd's per obviously has shepherd's purse in it all right um it's treating oh okay <laughs> shepherd's purse makes a wonderful set for treating hemorrhoids okay it also uh, helps relieve moon time cramps oh nice gently rub sub in a circular motion to warm and transfer to fingertips rub Again, I would check, you know, make sure uh, with your hemorrhoids, I'm sorry. And of course, it's all about the calendar. Um, yeah, that gives all the different cycles of the moon. So that is the box. So what do you think, guys? Um, I really like this. I think it's a very, whoop, let me just put that there. I think it's a very complete box. And it's like really to the point. I think February is great for, you know, February is in bulk. It's, it's a, you know, it's the beginnings of spring. Um, I have been going into my little corners of like my studio area, everywhere, like in my closet, except for one closet, didn't hit that one up yet. But like just little things I've been like cleaning and clearing. It's just like to get rid of old stuff, give away stuff, repurpose it, or just throw it away if it's you're not using or broken or give it away, you know? So I think this is a really perfect um, way to start off, uh, you know, for spring, for spring cleaning, for spring clearing. And I love this besom. It is absolutely beautiful. So let me know what you think in the comments below of the um of the video let me know and also like i have said in other videos that i want to do uh an art project with like if i can with like the themes of um the box so i gotta think about this one this one is not as clear to me oh that's funny clear um of what type of art project but um yeah i will figure it out and also i just wanted to say that like let's say I get certain boxes and they're all like similar topics or similar themes. Like let's say this box was like in bulk uh, and then my last one or two boxes was in bulk. I'm not gonna do like three to four different in bulk projects because that would be kind of boring. Um, so I would probably like to just do like one project if it's like a holiday or something like that, I think to represent all of them. But yeah, I have to think about the type of art project I wanna do with this. Um, I don't know. I have no idea, but I will think about it. But yeah, I have a little bit of an idea, but I'm gonna think about this one, but I am working or maybe it, oh, there goes the noise in the background. But anyway, all right, I have rambled on enough. All right, I'm working on some art projects for you guys. I'm really excited. Um, it seems like you like the new content. And if you do, please let me know in the comments below. It makes me happy. I hope you are happy. You know, I hope you are happy with, you know, all the new things I'm doing on here. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.